Since you're all stuck at home, this is the time to either start a side hustle, start a YouTube channel, or even record some tutorials or how-tos for your coworkers or employees while stuck in home office. Of course, you could just start a screen recording and call it a day. But nowadays, there's hardly anything more important than a strong branding and building a personal relationship with your audience. So adding a personal touch to your helpful content by connecting to your audience on an eye level is a must in 2020. So in this video, I will show you how I create our tutorials and give you some tips and tricks to optimize and speed up your workflow so you can start creating content right away. My name is Damien Cooper and welcome to Monkey Pixel. One, two, three, listen. For shooting this kind of content, we need at least one camera, one microphone and a computer or a phone or a tablet. I'm using a professional camera from Canon, but you can use pretty much anything you want. You can use any camera, a webcam or even your phone. As a microphone, I'm using the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is a shotgun microphone that I can highly recommend and I will upload a full review on this microphone on our YouTube channel on Sunday. But here you can use any kind of microphone. It could be a USB microphone attached to your computer, a lapel microphone or even just a built-in microphone of either your camera, or your phone or your computer. And last but not least, we obviously need a computer, a tablet or a phone to be able to record our screen and visually show our audience what we are talking about. macOS has a screen recording feature built right into the software and so do all Apple phones and tablets. For Windows, you can use a free screen recording software called OBS and for Android phones, I don't know, I've never used one, but you'll be able to figure this out. So let's start recording. And here comes our first tip. For the smoothest experience in editing, it's highly recommended that all of your sources record the audio and the video at the same time at all times. Meaning, you start the recording on your camera, then you start the recording of your screen on your phone, your tablet or your computer, and if you record your audio separately, you also start recording your audio. And if one of your sources has a recording limit, for example, our DSLM has a recording limit of 30 minutes, but your tutorial actually lasts longer than this, then you can easily just restart the camera after 30 minutes and there's no need for stopping and restarting the recording on all your other sources. And here's the part that is crucial for this to work. All your sources need to be able to record audio all throughout your tutorial. The way I have it set up is that my dedicated shotgun microphone records directly into my camera and all my other devices like my phone or my computer just use their internal microphones. And this is what we call scratch audio. And this is necessary to easily and quickly synchronize all of our sources later in post. Which one of your devices is recording your A-level audio is totally up to you. This could be a USB microphone on your computer or even a microphone attached to your phone. Just make sure that all of your devices record audio at the same time. So let's bring all of our sources into post-production. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10, but I know that Premiere Pro and other video editors have the same functionalities, so I will be just showing you this for an example. To make it simple, I'm only using two sources for this. The camera that I'm talking to, which has also our primary audio source, and the screen grab from my computer, which is utilizing its internal microphone. And as an example, I'm using a tutorial that I uploaded earlier about faking window reflections in Photoshop. So what we need to do now is we need to select both of our clips and just select new multicam clip. And now we are combining those two files into one. Make sure to use audio synchronization so that we can actually easily and quickly sync these two files together. Hit OK. And now what happens is that we have another clip in our browser that is a combination of the two clips all together. What we can do now is we can set the active video and the active audio angle. Since our primary audio source is on our camera, we are already on the right track. But if you would be using a USB microphone, for example, attached to your computer, you would have to choose the screen recording track. So now we can put our clip into our storyline and I've already cut this all together that we are only left with the pieces that are necessary for our tutorial. So now we can go to our viewer and select the angles view. And now we are seeing side by side all of our sources displayed while scrolling through our video. 
So now it's extremely easy for us to choose when we want our audience to see our face and when we want them to see our screen grab. So now, whenever we want our audience to see our screen instead of our face, we just choose the right clip and as an active video angle, we choose the screen recording instead of our camera. You can now repeat this process and just change the video angles on whichever clips you want your audience to see your screen grab instead of your face. And just like that, we have produced a high quality and visually pleasing tutorial within a matter of minutes. So if this tutorial has helped you in any way, I would love for you to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for future videos, tips, tricks and reviews and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.